In this video, we are going to talk about top 5 ways to make and invest money. So before starting this video, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. For most people, investing is a must if they want to have a comfortable future. A seemingly stable economy can be easily turned on its head, leaving those who haven't planned scrambling for income, as the coronavirus crisis showed. Those who were able to hang on to their savings, on the other hand, could have done well, as the market reached new all-time highs in the second half of last year. While there are many ways to make money quickly, such as doing odd jobs or generating revenue through affiliate marketing or email marketing, making money with just $1,000 can present more challenges and, frankly, risks. That is, unless you know exactly what you're doing. Regardless of the risks, if you're imaginative, you may be able to come up with $1,000 to put into an investment even if you're living paycheck to paycheck. Here's a list of top 5 ways to make and invest money. So, let's start. Number 5. Standard & Poor 500 Index Funds The Standard & Poor's 500 Index, or simply S&P 500, is a market capitalization weighted index of 505 large cap US companies that account for 80% of the country's stock market capitalization. It is commonly regarded as the most accurate indicator of large cap US equities, and it is often referred to as the market because it includes stocks from all market sectors. Some of the S&P 500's largest components include Microsoft Corp, MSFT, Apple Inc, AAPL, Amazon.com Inc., AMZN, Alphabet Inc., Google, and Facebook Inc. FB. There are many funds whose portfolio of stocks are designed to track those of the S&P 500 due to its popularity as a barometer of U.S. equity markets, including both mutual funds and exchange-traded funds. The latter type of fund is distinct from conventional mutual funds in that it is listed on exchanges and trades like standard stock during the day. Over the last decade, index investing has gained traction, with passive funds often outperforming their active equivalents at a lower rate. The S&M P500 has long been the most closely followed benchmark index by index investors. Number 4. Real Estate It's not for the faint of heart to start a real estate company. What other business needs you to cold call hundreds of leads every day, only to close 5 deals, if you're lucky? in your first year. Three out of every four real estate agents fail within the first five years, according to popular opinion. Starting your own real estate company, on the other hand, will provide you with the seven-figure job of your dreams if you have the necessary skills. The first thing you should realize about starting a real estate company is that it is, in fact, a business. If you want to outperform the average real estate agent salary, $41,289 a year, whether you're a solo agent or new to a team, you need to start thinking like a company owner, and that means preparing. A real estate company is interested in the acquisition, sale, management, service, or investment of land and buildings. Natural resources under or above the ground, such as crops, minerals, or water, may also be used in real estate. Real estate is a highly competitive sector there's a good chance that your neighborhood already has one or two successful and well-known real estate brokers and companies involved in the market. If you want to start a real estate company with the greatest chance of success, you should think about your strengths, weaknesses, and any areas you are especially involved in or familiar with. Consider what particular niche is right for your real estate business when starting out to give yourself a leg up on the competition. Maybe you want to specialize in short sales, or maybe you want to be the go-to resource for landlord, tenant laws in your state. If you start with a particular target group, you'll have a better chance of succeeding. Number 3. Starting your own business. You want to make sure you've done your homework before starting a company, but you also know that things will almost certainly go wrong. You must adjust to changing circumstances in order to run a successful company. Conducting comprehensive market analysis on your industry and the demographics of your target market is an integral part of creating a business plan. Surveys, focus groups, and CO and public data analysis are all part of this process. 
Before you begin selling your product or service, you must first establish your brand and create a fan base of people who will be ready to buy when you open your doors. If you're thinking about starting a company, you probably already have an idea of what you'd like to sell online, or at the very least, what market you'd like to reach. If you've nailed down your concept, you'll need to ask yourself a few key questions. What is the aim of your company? Who are you trying to sell to? What are the ultimate objectives? How are you going to cover your startup costs? A well-written business plan will provide answers to these questions. New companies make a lot of mistakes because they jump into things without worrying about these aspects of the market. You must identify the target market. Who will purchase your product or service? What's the point of pursuing your idea if you can't show that there's a market for it? Number 2. Starting your YouTube channel. Despite the fact that YouTube users watch over a billion, yes, with a B hours of videos every day, only 9% of small businesses bother to start their own channels. The incentive for companies ready to jump in is rising as YouTube use continues to increase. The popularity of video content is growing. Video continued to grow in popularity last year, accounting for 74% of all online traffic in 2017. People prefer video content to written content, according to research, and are more likely to benefit from it. This is important for entrepreneurs because they are actively focused on personal development. All great entrepreneurs enjoy learning, and entrepreneurs can learn from other business leaders through video content on YouTube channels. YouTube is a fantastic resource for entrepreneurs, as it contains a wealth of knowledge. Since YouTube is a multitasker's dream, using it for business marketing is becoming increasingly popular. While watching video content, you can read one of your favorite marketing books. Who has time to read comprehensive blogs, attend a meeting, or recruit a consultant? A subscription to the right YouTube business channel will provide you with the same knowledge without the hassle. Each channel's description includes links to three of person's favorite videos from that channel. Since all of these channels have a lot of videos, it's easy to get lost in the sea of information and lose track of time if you're new to them. Number 1. Getting a promotion at work. A promotion allows you to take on a more important position in your organization, receive a higher salary, and feel more accomplished. To effectively advance your career within your organization, you must have excellent work performance and attract the attention of your superiors. Although in many workplaces, success, experience, and expertise are standard criteria for a job promotion, you should go above and beyond to become a top candidate for your desired role. If you want to succeed in your career, you must know what your boss expects of you. Making a conscious effort to add value is one of the best ways to get promoted at work. Every employer needs their workers to contribute to the company's value, so making a conscious effort to add value is one of the best ways to get promoted at work. Take a closer look at some of the people in your organization who have won promotions in recent years to see if you could get promoted. One of the keys to claiming your promotion is situational awareness. Look for common personality characteristics, successes, and behaviors among those that have been promoted successfully. These observations could help you figure out what you need to do to advance in your career. While working hard is crucial, if you never put yourself in a noticeable role, your efforts can go unnoticed. You must be recognized for your contributions to the business if you want to convince your boss that you deserve a promotion. What do you think of our list? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.